all right everyone hello uh, today we're going to discuss about uh, how to use the unit of centimeter mercury for the unit of pressure okay so uh, after that we will also be solving a few problems a few mcqs related to manometer but let us first discuss what is centimeter mercury now <clears throat> the unit of pressure so far that we have studied is mostly pascals right so sorry so we have mostly studied the unit of pressure as pascals or newton per meter square or times we even use newton per centimeter square so we have already studied this one pascal and one newton per meter square is the same thing they're equivalent to each other but one pascal cannot be said to be equivalent to one newton per centimeter square this is wrong if you write this to a same they they th that will be a wrong answer so there is another unit for pressure which is centimeter mercury and where do we use it and uh, how do we convert it to pascal that's what we will discuss in this video okay so let us first go to barometer from there we'll start this concept so when we discuss barometer uh, mercury barometer we used this thing we used a tube which was inverted in a dish of mercury and inside that dish of mercury this mercury level rose to a certain height the height we found out was 76 centimeter for atmospheric pressure right so i hope you all remember the concept of barometer we are not discussing that over here so 76 centimeter was the height of the liquid that rises uh, to provide us with the value of the atmospheric pressure so this 76 centimeter when we converted it to pascal we did this so the pressure exerted by this amount of liquid mercury over here say so let's say point a the pressure at point a was given by h rho g so the h was considered to be 0 0.76 meter rho since we have used the liquid as mercury we took the density of mercury which was 13600 and g is 10 so multiplying this three gives us uh, let me just do the calculation 0.76 times 13600 times 10 10 3360 pascal so approximately 1 into 10 to the power 5 pascal that was atmospheric pressure that is what our calculation was now uh, if we don't want to write it in pascal if we don't want to convert it to pascal how else can we write it now the other unit for exerting uh, for expressing the pressure at a is another way of doing it is instead of doing h rho g that is one way we did it here instead of doing h rho g we can also write the pressure at a as 76 centimeter mercury so what does this represent this represents the pressure at point a is equivalent to the pressure exerted by 76 centimeter column of the liquid mercury so if i would have written anything else here instead of mercury instead of hg if i would have written something else a symbol of some other liquid it would have meant 76 centimeter uh, of the column of that particular liquid is exerting a pressure so this is how we use the symbol centimeter mercury so atmospheric pressure other than 1 to 10 to the power 5 pascal can also be written as 76 centimeter of mercury now if the question is telling you the atmospheric pressure is given as 76 centimeter mercury and you convert it and write it write the value in pascal how do you do that so the same thing can be written in pascal what you do is you take the height as 0 0.76 now h for rho you'll have to check which liquid are we using okay we are using mercury so you take the density of mercury into 10 h rho g you use the same formula and from here you get the value of height you get the density of the liquid and you get the same answer again 103360 pascal right so uh doesn't matter if you write it in centimeter mercury or you write it in pascal both of them are correct now the same concept can be used in other factors also like uh we have studied when we were studying barometer that if the atmospheric pressure increases on a particular day if for some reason the atmospheric pressure is larger we know the liquid column the height also increases so larger atmospheric pressure means h also increases right the value of h increases so if i tell you the 
value of uh, the pressure at A is equals to 80 centimeter mercury from there you will have to realize that since the value of height has increased it was 76 centimeter now it has become 80 centimeter you have to realize that the atmospheric pressure for some reason has increased right like uh, if the temperature is larger on a particular day uh, then there is a chance that the atmospheric pressure will increase if you go to the top of a mountain a mountain top usually the pressure is supposed to decrease right if you go higher in altitude the pressure decreases so if i say the pressure at a is say for example 72 centimeter of mercury from here you'll have to realize the pressure has decreased the atmospheric pressure is lower on that particular day okay so this is how we use the symbol centimeter mercury now let's use the same thing in a manometer so i'm just drawing roughly a manometer here and let's see how we can use the centimeter mercury concept there so manometer also we are aware we use it to measure the pressure due to a gas supply so let's say you have a liquid over here and the liquid over here so this means the pressure due to the gas supply is larger than the atmospheric pressure the pressure over atmospheric pressure is less it's pretty obvious because the level of the liquid on the left hand side is lower and the level of the liquid on the right hand side of the tube is higher okay so we can say the gas supply pressure is larger than atmospheric pressure now you're given with certain values let's say this is given as 10 centimeter and this is given as 60 centimeter okay so if i tell you to find the pressure due to the gas supply over here what is the pressure what formula do we use pressure due to gas supply is found using atmospheric pressure plus h rho g now atmospheric pressure let's take it as 100000 pascal and the h rho g how do we take the value of h from here we find the height of the uh, difference of height between the liquid columns on both sides right so that is 50 centimeter 50 centimeter means 0 0.5 let's say we have used the liquid as mercury so 13600 into 10 and then you find the answer which gives you the pressure due to the gas supply the answer comes uh, let's just again find it out 0.5 into 13600 into 10 plus hundred thousand which gives one six eight one two three pascal okay so this is how we can find the pressure in a manometer now if the question asks you to give the same answer in centimeter mercury not in pascals how do we do that so in that case what you will write is pressure due to gas supply is again you will write atmospheric pressure plus the pressure due to the liquid column right now instead of writing h rho g what i will write here is how much was the height difference here 50 centimeter right so what i will write here is 50 centimeter of mercury so we know the atmospheric pressure is at 76 centimeter mercury we know the pressure difference between the two sides that is the pressure due to this column of liquid over here this much liquid is giving a pressure of 50 centimeter of mercury so we write it 50 centimeter of mercury and then we write down the answer at 126 centimeter of mercury right so this is how we can write the same value of pascal in centimeter mercury it will be a little different there will be a slight difference because atmospheric pressure is not exactly hundred thousand we have seen it before one zero uh, 3360 pascal right but we are considering it hundred thousand so there might be a slight difference in the value but both of them are acceptable you won't lose marks for this okay so if the question asks asks you to give the answer in centimeter mercury this is how you give it okay there is another part of the question which is sometimes asked one of the part of the question is that uh 